So guys, Roger here. Um, I'm here to show you a basic review of the new update, the uh, Temple Tracking revamp. Um, pretty much this is what you need. Uh, you need some decent armor, uh, weapon, it, pretty much tank gear, a um, couple extreme or supersets. Uh, I would suggest bringing a Dwarven Army Axe because you need a hatchet um, and a tinderbox at some points. You need a silver sickle um, that's imbued. You can get that from, uh, I think it's Nature Spirit Quest. Same with the Druid Pouch. And in a, either an Evander's Flail or an Evander's Rod for the um, Vampire tracks, which can be found on the hard ones. They're optional, I believe, but if you want to do them, then it's worth having. And uh, a few prayer pots just to pray against things. Um, to tank against monsters and things, and uh, the rest food, just uh, as you'll see in a second. First thing you do is go to either Canifus or Berg de Rot. Um, you'll see this screen here. Uh, notice board pretty much, it's just advertisements for these um, people that want to trek between the two towns. Um, you get different ones for um, like different treks. Uh, as you can see, I've started off with the easy one, he's level 36. As they trek along with you, you'll get higher levels. And here's a few of the rewards. Um, unlock a shortcut option from the Swamp Gates to the Nature Spirit's Grotto. Um, at 200, you get a Constructor's Hat. When one increases the construction experience, you gain. The full set provides 2.5% XP gains. Um, you get Constructor's Trousers and Constructor's Garb. I assume that's a hat or something. So you get um, the Constructor's gear. It's, it's like Lumberjack, but um, it gives the same sort of effect but in construction. Um, option to teleport to Temple Trek in Begdorot added to Games Necklace. That's quite nice. And at 594, which is max, you get a Ghast Familiar, which requires 50,000 coins to buy. This Familiar requires 87 summoning and will grant prayer XP for any damage it inflicts. It all also prevents food decay while in the swamps. So as you can see, it is worth doing. And uh, I'll, I guess I'll do a difficult one, and you'll see the character will come down. Pretty much, what you want to do is just give him some food. Yes, you can trade with him, which I think is quite nice. Um, and then are you ready to go? Start trek, and then just pretty much go through the I mean it's optional there's a easy track a medium track and a hard one but I'm gonna go through the hard one because I'm a tank I'm not really but you know if any of you saw my um oh shit my uh what is it troll invasion vid you'll see that I'm really not a tank and I'm a noob pretty much you wanna kill these I'm assuming it's gonna run out pretty quick because of um the timer, it's supposed to be a hard event, and I found this hard on the easy one, so I've got to hurry my ass up. Um, run over here, get the snails, get the snails, get the snails, get the snails to cook. Um, how many is there? There's another one that I killed. Where's the other one? There it is, there it is, there it is! And then just pretty much light a fire. You can't light a fire, what the fuck? Of course I can light a fire. And then just cook the meat. And you have to feed it to these people. I'll do it while... I'll kill that one while it's over here. Might fail this one. Hope not. Die, stupid snail! They're fucking dying, man. Move! Move! Go on! Go! Goddamn pathfinding. Move! God damn it! 
Fucking move. This guy's dying over here, man. You're gonna kill him. There we go. Sorted. Thank you, Roger. You saved my life. Good, because of bloody Christ almighty thing. Uh, yeah, the harder ones are harder. And this guy just leveled up, apparently. I don't know how, because he didn't hit anything, but... Continue hard trek. Oh, shit. Just kill these via watch. With the Evander's flow. There's a few of them, too. I mean, wow. Alright, I'll just, um, pause this and I'll... Start up the clip again when I've finished killing all these via watch. This is one of the reasons why you need the um, Evander's Flail. Because you can't do this one without an Evander's Flail because they're not weak to anything else. And they've graphically updated these too, they look quite nice. I've just finished the trek. Thanks for seeing me through that safely. Please accept this re reward token. Claim reward token and you can choose here. Um, I tend to choose the XP tome because you get a chance of XP in Slayer, which is nice. Or you can get some uh, Sharks. It depends. The red tokens are the highest, yellow tokens are the medium, blue tokens are the lowest. Um, I'll put a list of the rewards in the description. And, uh, yeah. See how much Thieving Tome. 2362 experience. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it, really. I mean, you just want to kit yourself up for it and and uh, prepare to kill shit, really. <laughs> That's all it's to it, is really just tanking things and let your character um, attack them, or if they can't kill them, kill them yourself, and they'll slowly level up. Um, thanks for watching, I guess, and uh, I'll try to do more update guides and there's a fucking aeroplane flying past my house which I'm not sure if you can hear but you probably can because it's really loud and uh, I'll do more bot bus videos too because that's that one seems to have had a really positive response from uh, yesterday when I uploaded it and um, I will definitely be doing more of those I don't know when but I'll try to do as many as possible um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more update guides, bot killing guides and bot busting videos. Cheers.